Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing actually? Uh, I imagine not too well, not too well because the world of Inter fans, it's not great at the moment. Yesterday, our cousins, AC Milan, of course, slapped up Napoli at the Maradona Stadium 4-0. Even Alexis Salami Maker was uh, acting like he was a Maradona region. Crazy scenes, crazy, crazy scenes. But that means that Inter's top four spot now is held on by a thread, which maybe, hopefully, means that these guys finally wake up, wake their asses up. Maybe this is the kick up that they uh, that they needed. Uh, yeah, I muted my mic there by for by mistake. But yeah, today uh, quickly wanted to talk about Massimo Moratti. Moratti spoke on Inzaghi, and whenever he speaks about Inzaghi, it's uh, it's funny because you can tell he does not like Inzaghi, and uh, we know Moratti would have fired Inzaghi long, long ago, probably September, October, max, max October. Um, and yeah, today he uh, spoke uh, in an interview and said <laughs> flat out, Inzaghi is a problem. They asked him, Inzaghi is really into his problem. He said, yeah, Inzaghi certainly represents a problem. Clearly, he's the coach. He's taking responsibility for carrying the team forward and the results don't prove him right. And he also talked about the lack of notable, lack of grit. It seemed like a friendly match, um, which is true. We talked about that. Inzaghi's teams, especially last year, we even if we went behind, you could feel that there was that belief that, you know, that self-belief that, you know, th th we could come back. We always almost seemed to be able to do it. But yesterday or the other day, in Fiorentina, we were, once we went behind, I didn't feel like we were going to come back. And even when he brought on the extra striker, when Ed Dzeko, Lukaku, Lautaro played at the same time, we actually created less than we did the whole match before which shows the confusion that's going on at the moment at Inter. And it's not just Moratti. He's being attacked left, right and centre at the moment. Inzaghi, uh, Marotta, Auxilio, Zhang, where are they? They were at the front of the cameras uh, a few weeks ago when we got past Porto. Um, but when uh, now that Inzaghi has been attacked, now that things are not going well, um, they're, not, they're not present. They're not coming up in front of the cameras. Um, that is my, that's my question. Where are they? Where are Inzaghi? Where are Inzaghi's defenders? And that, you know, I think he knows, Inzaghi knows that he is not going to be the coach at Inter next season. Um, I've been saying it, you know, pretty much almost since the start of this season. And um, he's not going to be, although, if you're hoping for Inzaghi to be fired, uh, as reported by Sky Sport in Italy, he is not yet in a risk of being fired i think he will finish the season as inter's coach i believe that as well uh even before this report came out this morning um inter want to get out of the situation and unite even more unless though unless something really catastrophic happens like losing to juve and benfica and salernitana then i think there's just no way that even inter might have to take the l on you know the compensation and just you know Fire in Zaghi, but until then, um, he will stay. And you know, another news that's kind of come out Inter won't stay in the training camp, so they're not in a retiro, as they say. You know, the a lot of people use that as like a punishment. A lot of coaches, the you know, you stay at the training round away from your families or unite, you know, work on tactics, talk to each other all you know, all day. Uh, but once again, in Zaghi has opted for his style of management. Which, you know, if you saw the short, the video that I made just the release today, I posted it on Twitter yesterday, I posted it on YouTube today, check it out. Marco Parolo, his, his uh, ex-player at Lazio, talking about his management style. And we know it's nothing new. What Parolo talked about is nothing that we don't know about. Inzaghi has a modern style of management, you could say, or a more soft approach to, to management compared to others um, and clearly it doesn't work at Inter. We found out clearly only a sergeant type strict disciplinarian seems to be able to succeed at Inter. Um, in Zaghi, you know, I, I read Ancelotti's book, which is called Quiet Leadership, but Ancelotti, he has this similar characteristics and he's much more quieter, much more reserved. 
uh, softer approach, much more led by the players rather than him leading the players, um, kind of leading with, you know, democracy type of way. We saw, you know, even Real Madrid sometimes they've talked about how, you know, he's discussing substitutions with Tony Kroos and Modric and things like that. But he's a bit of an outlier, Ancelotti. He's a little bit of an outlier. Uh, I think in general, the, the, the type of personality that you need to have is, is definitely a lot more assertive than Inzaghi is. But I hope Inzaghi, he does know that his time at Inter is, you know, he's not, he's not, gonna, not, not got long left. Uh, so I hope he takes hold of the situation at least in some form of way and finishes strongly. I know that he wants to get the Coppa Italia for sure. Even though we don't care about it, I don't care about it this season for sure. I know Inzaghi wants to finish the season with the Coppa Italia so he can walk out of Inter with a mic drop moment of four trophies, two Coppa Italias, two Supercoppas, doing better in the Champions League than Conte did. That's what he will say. I can uh, I can imagine it already. That will be his way of leaving, um, which is fair enough, fair play. So that's a good, you know, if he does manage to do that, still pretty good two years, but not quite good enough for what Inter need and what our us as fans want. Um, and yeah, if you didn't know, the other day I did uh, tweet hashtag Inzaghi out. So now I am in the hashtag Inzaghi out camp. But as long as he stays, I'll keep, of course, united, supported, I'm still going to support the boys and Inzaghi right until the end. Uh, I still have hope that he can turn things around. You know, we saw, you know, how Milan yesterday, Milan went through a period that was even worse than ours, guys. They were taking in goals, like five goals conceded to Sassuolo at home, four goals conceded against Lazio. They were even worse than us, but Pioli actually changed things around. You know, he's a 4-2-3-1 guy, but he went to 3-4-4-2-1. Yesterday, 4-3-3, you know, changing things around sometimes <clears throat> in Zaghi, are you listening it works sometimes uh allegri's been doing it all season he always does it uh so my request to Inzaghi is which i know he's not going to do he's uh, one of the most stubborn coaches i think i've ever seen just to change things around a little bit not it doesn't even have to be formation wise because the team is built for a 352 unfortunately but at least with players belanova showed what he can provide to this team uh, the other day, you know, when he came on, uh, dribbling, speed, something a bit different, energy, same with Aslani. Um, try something different in Zagi. Try something different. But anyway, let's see what happens in the next few days. I don't know if I'm watching the Juve match tomorrow. I'm going to wait for the lineup first to see, to make my decision. I want to see some, some new ideas, some fresh faces in there, hopefully. If not, I probably won't. But who am I kidding? I probably will still watch it. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I want to know your thoughts about this whole situation, what Moratti said. What do you make of the Inzaghi situation? Should he go now or should we wait until the end of the season? And of course, as always, guys, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Ciao ragazzi. Always, even in the hard times like now, Forza Inter.